Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of the Blackbird Grimoire. Welcome to the Daily Forecast for Tuesday, July 16th, 2024, on this day of Mars, the day of sovereignty. We have a waxing gibbous moon. We are in Cancer season, the Celtic tree month of Holly, Woodpecker season, Saturn retrograde, Neptune retrograde, and Pluto retrograde. Now for the astrology, the sun is in Cancer, cardinal water, representing intuition. We have lots of movement with the moon today, as you can see. Uh, the moon begins the day in second quarter Scorpio, fixed water, representing self-confidence. Then at 8.10 p.m. Central Time, it goes void of course. And then 15 minutes later at uh, 8.25 p.m. Central Time, it will enter second quarter Sagittarius, a mutable fire sign, and it will represent optimism. So we just had this surge of confidence, and now... We think the world's a great place and we're seeing possibilities and opportunities and adventure everywhere. That is going to be the shift in mood. Uh, it won't be quite as um, as intense and focused and doing all of the things the way Scorpio is. It is a bit more relaxed, uh, but it'll still be pretty high energy. So bear that in mind. Uh, Mercury is in Leo, fixed fire, representing ideals. Venus is in Leo, fixed fire, which means to be ardent. Mars is in Taurus, fixed earth, representing purpose. Jupiter is in Gemini, mutable air, representing questing. Saturn is retrograding in Pisces, mutable water, meaning to redefine dreams. Uranus is in Taurus, fixed earth, representing renovation. Neptune is retrograding in Pisces, mutable water, which means spiritual awakenings. And Pluto is retrograding in Aquarius, Fixed air, meaning to examine intentions. For the Saturn retrograde, reevaluate your goals, reconsider your commitments, reclaim your authority. And the Neptune retrograde is about reimagining your dreams, reclaiming your sense of mystery, and reclaiming faith and magic. And for the Pluto retrograde, reclaim ability to regenerate, Can reconsider what deserves your energy, and release attachments that do not serve you. Now for the moon phase, we have waxing gibbous, which means to cultivate intention. So busy, busy bees, keep working on all that stuff. Uh, for the Sagittarius moon, some of the do's are teaching, philosophy, uh, outdoor pursuits, but the don'ts are cramp spaces, unsolicited advice, and abandoning tact. So uh, try not to fall into that today. Well, later this evening, once the Sagittarius moon arrives, of course. Uh, so as it is the day of Mars, uh, we know that the Martian energy continues to tread forward with purpose and vision. Uh, throughout most of the day, it will be impacted by the more obsessive energy of the Scorpio moon. Uh, but later in the evening, the mood will change into the more adventurous spirit of Sagittarius. So uh, be mindful of that. Watch out for that. And um, I guess plan your day accordingly. Now for today's tarot, we have the King of Wands. He represents a fiery man, uh, friendly, a countryman, honest, conscientious, driven. And then for the suit of wands, think fire element, masculine energy, projective, drive, uh, mature masculinity, because this is a king. And uh, all in all, the message you get from this is that, you know, get out there, do something. It's not so much as I'm, th I'm not really sensing the feeling that you man of mature years who might be a fire sign and who's really driven and focused on his work or what he's doing today. I'm not getting that vibe so much as it is tap into that kind of spirit, tap into that kind of unbridled uh, projective energy to where you know what your goals are, you know what you're going after, you're pursuing it enthusiastically and, uh, and you're just not uh, leaving room for any kind of distractions. That's more so the mood that I get from uh, this particular card. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, you might be looking at this and getting a very different vibe. And if you are, definitely listen to your instincts because it's much more likely that uh, your impressions are going to be a manifestation of this energy that is directly affecting you. Next up, we have our Celtic triad for the day. It reads three things one gains in an inn. Entertainment, which makes them poor. Mirth, which makes them do wrongly. And joy, which makes them sad. Uh, so this triad is speaking of temporary pleasures to be found in dubious company at questionable locations. Uh, the short-term fun can lead to long-term difficulties. It is an overt rejection of blind hedonism. And... Um, I don't really have many other thoughts to really uh, add to this particular triad. I think it's very straightforward. And I think it is um, representing the kind of dangers that most of us are, are familiar with about uh, being careful about what company we keep, about making sure that, you know, we're not uh, overindulging as a matter of habit and that we're not uh, remaining in places that can lead us into problems. 
Now for today's magical intention is freedom. Uh, the color is red. The plant is the snapdragon, which represents emotional freedom specifically. And as so many people are struggling with mental and emotional health issues, I felt like it was very important to bring uh, the Snapdragon to the fore for that purpose so that if someone is dealing with that, uh, maybe you have access to Snapdragons, uh, you might be able to incorporate that into some of your own spell work today. Uh, then the animal is the horse and the crystal is the ruby. And I would like to remind everyone that freedom comes from within you. It comes from within you. That's where it starts. It's the only place it can be born. And it is there and existing in your mind long before it's recognized by any external institution or any person from whom you might be seeking approval. Freedom is not granted from an exterior source. It comes from within. And then you just have the courage of your convictions to act in that freedom. Now, um, of course, be careful because sometimes people can get themselves into trouble because not everyone is in agreement with freedom these days. Uh, but So be, be aware of potential uh, obstacles and hurdles, but understand that your self-sovereignty, your personal freedom, it is from within. Other things can acknowledge it, but it can never grant it to you. It is not something that can be given. It is something for you to claim from within yourself. Now for today's practice, uh, so it's because it's Tuesday, it's about honoring sovereignty deities, uh, working on the solar plexus chakra, and then for the contemplation, what aspect of your Mars sign has been surprising to you, uh, you might read a passage from the Art of War, and uh, find an opportunity to assert your authority, even if it's over uh, that pesky laundry basket that, you know, did not have the manners to put itself away, you know, seize control of something that is yours to properly control, and don't be apologize for it. If you are supposed to be in charge of something, then be in charge. You don't have to be overbearing or, un or unkind or unfeeling or anything like that, but be in charge. Seize your proper place and see that you are executing your proper responsibilities. Now, last of all for today, we have the journal prompt. Uh, you are the boss of you. That's been an ongoing theme today, uh, but it is easy to lose sight of that if you become too consumed with the antics of those who acknowledge, who refuse to acknowledge your personal sovereignty. So what you might journal about is how can you turn that tide? How you can you limit their ability to impact your life or their influence over your situation? Uh, focus upon solutions and your ability to, to act in a manner that is proper for a free human being. So that is what I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below, and I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye for now.